Hello and welcome to Stephen Tries Less with me, the Rhino. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Stephen Tries Less, the greatest channel beginning with Stephen Tries. Yeah. Is, you know, viewers, sweet, sweet viewers, not that I've tasted them. <laughs> Guys, you're probably wondering, what are you two little boys doing dressed up like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this week we're going on a little trip, yeah? And I don't yeah, mean boy. he's hitting the ganja. Oh, classic me. Is it? No. We're going on a little holiday, yep. and who better to take us there than Gordon Ramsay? It's a dream come true. And his hotel hell. Go Worst on. hotel experience you've ever had. Go on. We went on a family holiday to Benidorm. Yeah, and, and your mum didn't put out? Whee! No, she did. Go on then. Yeah. Who was it? Who f***ed mum? Everyone just got really sick. Put yourself in the most danger. God. Worst holiday I've ever been on. If I had to rate the holiday out of five, I'd struggle to give it more than three. How about you? Oh, recently actually, it was a cruise uh, to see the Titanic. I actually stayed at Sasha's hotel. Uh, that's not a person. King in the castle, king in the castle. Basically a sex hotel. <laughs> you know, I booked the trend there, believe me. Ooh, that was tremendous. Thoughts on Gordon Ramsay? He makes me giggle. He's one of those people that have made it in America. Simon Cowell's big. I realise that if you're going to make it big in America, be horrible. Be cutting. And they think it's ironic. Do you think you'd make it in America? I have done. Go to New York, ask do you know Stephen Tries. They'll say Go yes. on, I'll wait. Okay. Wow, I can't believe I'm in New York. Hey, do, do you know Stephen Tries? Get out of here, numb nuts. All right. Yes, Stephen Tries, make a peesh. Have you heard of the rhino? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his mum's a s. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long video. A <laughs> long video. No, we're not watching your family's ex tape. <laughs> this <laughs> is. <laughs> no, not up in here. Anyway, it's now time for us to look at Gordon Ramsay's Hotel Hell, a show I've never watched, oh. but I bloody will. To get a good reading, rub the swap underneath the mat. I don't know about you, but when I go to a hotel room, I don't do that. I don't get my earbuds out and swab the bathroom mat. You should start, mate. Is that what you do? Yeah, sometimes. Everything smells. It's very difficult for you to identify the smell, but in here, it really stinks. <laughs> Cameraman's just there, <laughs> this tummy rumbling. Oh no, oh no, Gordon. <laughs> what scares me is the fact that the kitchen took a year to get cleaned. Sack the cleaner at that point, yeah? yeah? Month six, go, right, get out. Sorry. Oh my God. Karen, anything above 30, you're in the danger zone for unhygienic practices. That's what I say when it comes to sex. Me and you, Gordon. You don't pass the swab test. Get out of here, you deaf milf. What do you think the reading is? A hundred. A hundred. Fifty. I'm going to guess eighty-seven. Forty-nine. Eight hundred and three. Eight hundred and three. Jesus. That is minging. I wouldn't even do a roly-poly on that. That's disgusting. My first shift here you were in the bathroom and i think you had an accident oh you don't want this what is happening now that's a private conversation that's what there have been times when i have had diarrhea but it doesn't happen very often she's so softly spoken that woman doesn't ass on the floor she's not doing gary lineker on the carpet uh, i can't bear you to <laughs> not one of you told me about the problems not one of you taken any form of responsibility I mean, how is that going to work? Uh, by the way, Gordon, I uh, I have shut on the bathroom floor a few times. Should be gone now, but uh, smell it. Don't swab the floor. That's all I'll say. <laughs> all right. Have a good say. The Wi-Fi. But the rest of the room is dusted and clean. It is. What? It's not. He's not focused. He's not talking about the room. It's not about the rug. You know, I'm with Karen on this. Yes, I've shut on the floor a couple of times, but God, that mirror is spotless. Yeah. Swings and roundabouts, Gordon. Now, that please give us a review on TripAdvisor. I'm out of here. As a man who has shat himself all around the world, right, if you've ever seen me abroad, chances are I've shat myself. Ready to go out on the pool now? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a video that's got 58 million views, Ryan. Wow. 58 million views on this. I'll take that off. I always get nervous when you see white fat like that. <laughs> Can you go away then? <laughs> <laughs> Preparing food for Gordon Ramsay. That must be like doing stand-up for, in your case, Jimmy Carr. I was going to make a joke about terrorists, but I thought I didn't want to bomb stages. <laughs> Is it to your liking? Read the room. Read the room, Muppet. 
A chef that left because she had to buy produce on her own credit card. I mean, this guy's priorities are upside down. Why does he whisper that? He's loudly <laughs> slugged off everything. <laughs> no, the chef had to buy their own produce. That's crazy. Anyway, this is f***ing awful, you cunt. <laughs> and where's the other half gone? Uh, it goes to the another person who orders. Oh, no, I want my other half. $74. What? $74. That's got to be the total price, not just that. It's actually quite nice. There is hope. I'm sorry. You like I'm, I'm going to say that that is not a dessert that he made. Somebody else makes desserts. It's ordered. <gasps> Knew it. You rats. Mm -hmm. Where's the chef? He's in the kitchen. Can you get him out, please? Yes. Get him out, by Like that. <laughs> Come on. Come on, numpty. In my opinion, is not living up to his potential as a chef. Robert Dean the second. Why is he waiting for Gordon Ramsay to come to town to sort out his stuff? Bitching about them all. Just between me and you, Gordon, I don't think he's very good. I wish I could do something about it, but uh, you're here now. Imagine being that chef as well and Dean the second just walks in. Yep, Gordon Ramsay's coming next week. <sighs> What for? What show? Oh, that's amazing. Is he is he booked in? Yeah, he's just filming a show. What show is it? No time. Huh? No time. The best tasting dish for me was the f***ing chocolate peanut thing. That's not even made f***ing in-house. Why is he nodding? <laughs> yeah. What is this owner doing? Yeah. I don't speak to the chefs. No, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here, I'll be honest. Sometimes when I'm in the middle of doing breakfast service for the 10 people that we randomly get, I get five texts from him asking me a question. You up. <laughs> Just across the room. Hey, Robert Dean, I'm up. All right. You put a shirt on and get out of here. I haven't been sleeping very well, to be honest with you. <laughs> the beds here are not comfy. This is your responsibility. Oh, he's about to clench that fist. How about this for a chop gun on the house? <laughs> Everybody is disgusted that you live in that thing. They really are. We are, we are building up to one hell of a comeback from this guy. Yeah. He's got something this... cooking. Well, that is not the, that is that not is the case. That is part of the issue. Scolding from Bobby Dean. Well, that is not the case. <laughs> and it's a symbol that you're separating yourself from everybody else. I'd be very careful about coming down on me too hard. Ooh. Damn. Bobby Dean the second will not be trifled with. Anything to say? No, we, we do things. Oh, please. We do things. <laughs> we do things. Just like my father and his father, the Deans. I might have to watch the rest of that episode. Chaos. We've got a bit more of this one. Ooh. Have a look. Yeah, why not? He's worked with the servers before and accepted a portion of the tips. Oh, my God. He's taking the tips, Ryan. That is insane. He's probably got kicked out from the synagogue, you know? Petrol for his RV. I have to confront him and figure out this nonsense. <laughs> Slam the laptop shut. Just looking up comebacks now. My tip! <laughs> 49 rooms were given out for free. I thought I needed to have somebody here. What is he up to? Giving out rooms for free whilst he stays in his RV. Hey! Sorry! Do you honestly need a 70-year-old lady's tips? No. A what? <laughs> because I wouldn't mind some of them in the RV, if you know what I mean, Gordy. I feel like he's going to get torn down here, and then at the end he'll go, Hey, Gordon, how about a free night stay at this hotel? <laughs> you haven't got the f***ing balls to call your friends and ask them to leave a tip. Yes, I do. Call them, then. Hello? <laughs> yeah? What do you mean? Well, don't worry, mate. Your, your lamb's all fatty, isn't it? <laughs> ah, jog on, mate. Preferred your dad, Dean the First. I was under the impression that you and Greg left a tip. Did you leave a well, tip? I left the money with you. Oh, oh, this is awful. God. It's got to be set up, surely. No one could be this bad. Did you tip the staff? Because they're telling people that they haven't been tipped. Oh, so I need to do that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why would he keep going when Gordon's gone? Yes. You'd at least fake a call in between. No one takes from Robert Dean the second and gets away with it. Leave the briefcase at dawn. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Whoa, Gordon's angry. No one takes the stuff's tip. As a man that used to work in a restaurant, it's bad. Cheers, Jeff. Here we go. Gordon Ramsay uses a black light in his hotel room. I smell trouble. Same, Gordon! <laughs> Robert Dean's on the other side. We kind of worked things out in the end. But he got my tip all right. The owner doesn't know his ass from his elbow. Oh, that's nice. The staff don't get paid. I mean, I don't I don't blame I, the yeah. owner for that one. <laughs> what is this, f***ing Balamori? I'm hoping a quick dip in the swimming pool. I mean, Gordon's clearly 
got himself in shape for this episode. He's just written in these ideas. Maybe I go swimming, yeah? Maybe I wake up topless. I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna show me something. Sandy McDougall. These have got to be fake people, surely. <sighs> Good morning. These are all the people you've slept with. <laughs> and they want an explanation, Sandy. If I asked to speak with a manager, I was told there is no manager. Sandy McDougall's been dead for 15 <laughs> years. Just, just tell them there is no manager. <laughs> Lights off. Now this black light shows up bodily fluids. <laughs> She's all around Gordon's crotch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all, glasses off. Glasses off, Get guys. Off. Forget it. <laughs> what do we? Uh, what do we try now with the uh, with this with this room? Let's try it now. Yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is grim. Maybe it looks like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this is worth a lot. Just when you thought it was safe to walk in bare feet. <laughs> it's like the start of a yeah, horror film trailer. It does hurt me inside. The tears just keep coming out of my face. I feel for McDougal more than I do Robert Dean. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. At a new hotel. Look at that design. That has to be the saddest looking plate of salmon anywhere. In North America tonight. These have got to be fake. Even I can cook better than that. Look at the size of the broccoli as well. They're <laughs> all <laughs> things to go after Ryan. Tastes great to me. I'm gonna kill him. Oh! oh. oh. Hey, Gordon, hey, Gordon. Look down here, mister. He can't possibly mess up a soft boiled egg, can he? Soft boiled egg for Gordon. Okay, what? Egg? Soft boiled egg. What? What'd you do if you were in that kitchen? They just brought your head out. <laughs> they just brought my head out. <laughs> that was raw. <laughs> Is this really happening? Are you having a laugh at your family's expense? No. <laughs> big tall hat, big jacket. I didn't even notice the hat. <laughs> You're in to $1.1 million of debt. That's a lot of money. I just think over the last 13 years, but what you Done. Keeps him dressing. <laughs> Your house is down. Fight off, Gordon. What's it gonna be? I really don't care if he leaves. I like how he's gone from. Oh, I'm gonna, I hope he goes in a dig pit. To, I really don't care if he, if, he, if he if he if I see him again. The Roosevelt Inn is holding a murder mystery dinner. I have a feeling it's gonna be hard to forget. See the chef from earlier. It is. Oh yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. He needs his head sorted out. He's changed his tone. I've studied this accent long and hard. In fact, mine is better than your British accent. This is like something I'd do. Yeah. <laughs> Drag people around yeah. to do a murder mystery night. Do you like a detective? You're in the kitchen, busting your ass off, working hard to serve all those people. And John, you were out prancing around like a sort of actor. So this is the thespian thing. It's an inn, it's not a theatre. Oh my God. <laughs> this guy was on a comedy course. My English accent's better than yours. <laughs> Just one room booked tonight would have made more profit than the whole murder mystery. And you prance around like some Idiot. Oh, Gordon. He just wants to act. You broke the fourth wall, Gordon. Rule number one of improv. <laughs> Do you have any care in the world apart for yourself? When you get a psychology degree. Oh, when come, I get You one. come and tell okay. me what's wrong with me. Here we go. You obviously think you're a psychologist. <laughs> it is bizarre that his hotel's going down the pan. You must be a psychologist if you think <laughs> there's something wrong with me. You tell, you do it all. <laughs> Better than the great Sherlock Holmes. Let me take off my hat. <laughs> it's only your own f***ing stupidity to why we're in the shit this far. Well, that is probably true. <laughs> he does need to see a psychologist. We know that much. Act responsible. That's my new motive. <laughs> okay. Just talk to my hand, you know. I talk to my hand. Oh, what That's a f***ing... Didn't we see that a bit of that one before? Yes! <laughs> I don't have a secretary, Gordon. I'm sorry. I'm trying to communicate with brides. I'm trying to send out things. I have to have peaceful time in order to do my work. Peaceful time. I need some peaceful time. <laughs> As he slopes onto the RV with an erection. <laughs> you only get paid after peaceful time. <laughs> I'm fighting for the team. You dug the f***ing hole. Yes, we, <laughs> we <laughs> I did. did. So they're f they don't have to work here. You don't have to work here, guys. Oh, God. How dare you? No, they but don't have to work paycheck. here. How dare you? 
<laughs> he's my favourite. Yeah. He's old Robert Dean the second. He's not paying them <laughs> his excuses. You don't have to work here, guys. I'm not gonna force you. It's only me in here. Excuse Thanks. me, excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. This is gonna be good. Here comes Bobby. Go on then, you pompous. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not, not Bobby Dean the second. He's been cut down. This guy's oh, loving it. Is. This guy is loving it. This is like a real <laughs> real battle for the ages. Don't talk to me like well, that. What's wrong with it? I want to know what's Don't wrong with it. Don't speak to me like well, that. Just cuts to that Sherlock guy. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> You're just blaming people. Well, I'm blaming you for not taking charge. Oh, he's so angry. I'm getting really sick of you! Get out now! Hey guys, if this video gets to 100,000 likes, we will go and stay at the Juniper Hill Inn. Yes! Ryan, of all those places, where would you most like to go? I was going to say the one with the jacuzzi, just for the jacuzzi, but is that the one where they turned off all the lights yeah, and there was on. spunk on the floor? Yeah. Definitely that one then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been joined by the Rhino. Whee! Thank you for having me. Cheers for having me. Do it again, do it again. Uh, thank you very much, guys. I've been joined by the Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> stay safe, stay humble, and stay at the Juniper Hill Inn. Yeah. This was a brand deal for them. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. Fucking loser, Stephen. You're so uncool. God. God, you used to be great. You used to get 200,000 views. Now look at you. Ah, you still get that, don't you? Like, okay.